Welcome back everybody it is 641 and in good health this time of year odds are that you will get at least one of a respiratory infection. Yeah, but what's normal and what should you expect and when should you go see a doctor on this wellness Wednesday? Our doctor is in Dr. Frank McGeorge with all the answers you need. I'm asked by people all the time when they're sick if they should see their doctor or if they need an antibiotic. Now, the majority of the time, the answer is no. But every so often, something out of the ordinary comes up. So here's your guide to the common cold, what you should do and watch out for. When you're not feeling well, the first question you should consider is whether it's a cold caused by one of many ordinary viruses or influenza. The reason it matters is that there are prescription antiviral treatments that you can get from a doctor for influenza. Now, while there's no surefire way to tell without lab testing, a couple of good gauges are how quickly your symptoms come on and how severe they are. A common cold usually starts gradually, over a day or two. Flu symptoms usually start very quickly, within a day or even hours. The severity of a cold is more of an unpleasant nuisance with fevers under 100 degrees. The flu will make you feel like you've been hit by a truck with body aches and fevers, usually exceeding 100 degrees. Now, if it seems more like the common cold, the first couple of days will usually involve a scratchy sore throat and congestion. By the third or fourth day, have a good supply of throat lozenges and Kleenex on hand. A cough by day four or five is also common. Most commonly, by six or seven days, you should be turning the corner with improvement of symptoms. Now, there's no specific remedy for a cold. What we're concerned about is a change or deviation from the expected. You should not have shortness of breath or pain when you breathe. Increasing fevers or worsening cough, especially if there is noticeably discolored sputum, should also raise the possibility of a bacterial pneumonia. Now, I also want to mention the sore throat. If it's mild enough that you can still swallow food and liquids, it should be safe to wait it out. But if swallowing becomes difficult, someone who knows what to look for should have a look down your throat. Back to you.